Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you what I got Olive for her Easter basket and what I put in it, and two cute spring and Easter outfits that I picked out, and they're so adorable and super cute, so I can't wait to share that with you guys. All right, so let's get started with her Easter basket. Before I share with you all of the Easter basket, I want to share with you the thought process that I went through when buying her Easter basket and her Easter items. Now, when I was thinking about it, I had to think about what is developmentally appropriate for my daughter because she does have a sensory processing disorder. And is it appropriate, age appropriate, you know, and is it safe for her to use? So the items that I did not include in her Easter basket are food. She is very picky with food and she doesn't like any chocolate, cookies, sweet stuff, especially the marshmallow stuff. Marshmallow freaks her out because it's too, you know, squishy for her and that tends to bother her because of her sensory processing disorder. She just can't handle that. And I didn't get her anything too, you know, fruity, sweet. I didn't get her any of the juice stuff. I didn't get her any food. That's it. I just did not get her any food. And the other stuff I did not get her was those basket grass fillers, the plastic ones. I find that totally unnecessary and just annoying to clean up. I remember getting Easter baskets when I was kids and there was just like all that frill and stuff. It's like so annoying to clean up. And besides, if I did put that in Olive's basket, she was just gonna put that plastic stuff in her mouth and most likely choke on it, which is not safe and it's not safe for your kid as well. So that's why I didn't include that in her basket. So those are the things that just, you know, my thought process of buying her Easter basket. Is it appropriate? Will she be able to use it? again and again and not you know waste my money and stuff like that so her Easter basket she could reuse I'm probably gonna repeat this but she's gonna reuse you know in the sandbox to carry things around hoard things around the house you know I really like stuff she could reuse over and over again no matter what even if it's after Easter so that was the thought process that I went through when buying her stuff so let's go on with the Easter basket all right so this is her basket right here it's very, you know, it's plastic, easy, she can use it. When she's done with Easter, she can bring it outside, use it in the sandbox or collect things inside while she's playing. So that's why I got this basket. I didn't get anything too fancy. I didn't wanna, you know, you know, go out of my way for Easter. It is just Easter and I just wanted to get her just not too many stuff. I'm, I'm sure you guys know what I mean. But this is from Target and it's only $2. I stayed on budget, I didn't go crazy for baskets like that but um there's a lot of stuff here that I took out that didn't really fit in the basket just yet so I'm gonna share that with you let's get started of course I got her bubbles this is I don't remember how much this one but I think this was like only a dollar at Target and this is really fun to have this is great to refill her uh, bubble machine outside and I also picked up this it comes in, this is only a dollar at Target, and it comes with three, you know, it comes in different colors, but this is perfect when we go to the park and stuff. I could just throw this in her diaper bag, or if we have a play date, I just throw it in her diaper bag and we'll have it wherever we are. And this is small enough to fit in her backpack. I also got her, ooh, I got her a ball. This is a dollar at Target. It's like a little sparkly one with a little bunny floating in there. All has been really into Know, throwing balls and seeing what would happen she's like really loving that right now and I she loved this last year so I got it again it's called the puffy bunny like right there and it just looks like this and then you squeeze it I think it looks like that Olive had so much fun with it yesterday and she loves um, yesterday she really loved this last year and she really loves the texture of the bunny and just feeling it and squeezing it and she just it's just fun kind of funky looking and then this one is from Amazon I got her these little maraca eggs they're musical eggs and they're super cute they look like this that, like cute and it is safe it's not gonna break open and all the stuff comes out it's perfect for olive I can't wait till she opens it she's gonna love shaking these and collecting these and putting it in her basket it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Now, the other items I got her are the items that she actually needs. So I got her these shoes from Target. Again, they are a size seven, these really cute water shoes. She wore this a lot last spring and last summer. It was perfect for water play and sand play, and it's super easy to clean. 
So I think I'm gonna buy a second pair because we used two pairs last year. We're just switching them back and forth. But this was $12.99 at Target. Perfect for the spring and summertime. And then I also got her a cup. I took it out of the box, but it's the brand Think Baby. And this is the straw cup right here. Really cute. This is the nine, nine ounce one. It looks like that. It looks sturdy enough. I mean, I don't know if it's toddler proof, but what sippy cup is toddler proof, really? But um, I think this is great. I've seen kids at schools use this cup. It does come in different colors. And I mean, it looks really nice. And we are moving away from the Nook transition bottle. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. It has like transitioning from the bottle nipple to another sippy cup with that soft spout from Nook. We're transitioning out of that and into all straw cups because her request from her speech therapist. If your kid's going into speech therapist or if you know anything about speech therapy, then you guys know tongue placement is really important. So we're moving away from that kind of nipple and just moving into straw cups, all straw cups. Now, the last item I did get Olive is this. These are paint sponges from Crayola. Really cute stuff. She's really into painting and she loves using her hands and the paintbrush, so I thought the sponges be great to squish around and do shape like dino shapes and stuff. So that is it for her basket. Oh wait, I have one more. I have this bunny. Olive actually picked this bunny up at Target. She was walking around at Target and she picked it up and she handed it to me. So this is also going in her basket. Really cute. So that is what I got Olive for her Easter basket. So let's move on to the spring clothes that I got her. Okay, so the spring outfits that I got for Olive. So I'm gonna start off with this really cute dress. It looks like this. Right there's the flower and it comes the cute little bow right here. I mean, look at the buttons, guys. Aren't those super cute? And this is how the back looks like. Really, this is perfect for spring. I absolutely love this outfit on her. This is a size 2T because she's 2T. But see how perfect that is? That's so cute. And I love the little buttons on it. Oh my goodness. Super cute. And I am pairing this outfit with these shoes right here. This is the sparkly shoe. It's the high top. And this is from Monkey Feet. I absolutely love that shoe brand for Olive. Perfect, it fits, and it's great quality. But this is how it looks like, guys. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh. And the red bottoms. I Olive already wore these, but look at the bottoms. They're red. They're gorgeous. I love these shoes. They're super cute, and they will match this outfit. How cute, right? Oh my goodness. So the, that's outfit number one. And this is the second outfit right here. Um, I'm not sure if I'll be able to link this for you guys, only because this was from Gymboree. I did buy this at their closing sale, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to find the link to it. So I do apologize about that. But this is how it looks like. It does have a little sparkle to it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. And the stripes do come in different colors. It's like red, a purple, and I think there's like a gold color, like a shimmer in there, but it's super cute. And I was gonna pair it with these cute little boots right here. How cute are these? And these are from the same shoe company from the other one. This is from Monkey Feet. Super cute stuff. I will include pictures here for you guys so you guys can see the flat lay of how they look like all together. They are super cute and yes, I will leave a link to all these outfits down below except for the jumpery one. And I will also include links to her basket and all her items there as well. Now, hair pieces. Olive's hair is longer now. So I could actually do two ponytails or one like really tall like troll you know what I'm talking about, ponytail on the top of her head. But you guys know Olive reps for Boutique Katie Sophia. And these are some of the bows that I got her for spring. This right here is actually a bow tie that I got from my nephew. It's super cute. She actually, this is one of her newer items, the bow ties. I'm so glad she started doing that because it's such a cute idea. But these are the bows. This is the polka dot and this is the lace blue. And then the other ones are for Easter. Here's the pink lace one that Olive recently wore. And then this is my favorite one, this floral one right here. Look 
how cute that is. I absolutely love this shop, guys. And this is the back. I got this kind of clip. I think this is called the alligator clip. And by the way, these bows are super, super sturdy. Olive has played with them, tried ripping them apart because you guys know toddlers and they've stayed put and actually, you know, held their shape. And she has not ripped it or broken a single bow. The other bow I got, this one's super cute, I had to buy it, has bunnies on them. It has cute little bunnies on them. Come on, how could you resist that, really? Super cute, oh my gosh. I absolutely love this. And for Thursday, tomorrow, well, you guys will be watching this Friday, so her um, solids, her spring solid collection will already be out. And um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, I will leave my Instagram handle somewhere on the screen so you guys could follow me. And I will let you guys know when her spring solid collection comes out. It comes out tomorrow, the 28th, Thursday, which um, will already happen because you guys will be watching this on Friday. But she has really cute stuff, guys. Go check out her shop. It's super, super cute and adorable. And the bow ties, seriously, the bow ties here. Let me just bring that out for you guys to see. Look how cute this is. It's gonna be perfect for my nephew, for his little um, Easter outfit. Oh my God, look how cute that is. And this is how the back looks like. Oh my gosh, thank you guys. Super cute. Oh. Anyway, I do have a discount code for you guys. I will leave all that information in the description box below so you guys can check it out and use my code again. All right, so that is what I got Olive for her Easter basket and her spring and Easter outfits. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and gave you some ideas for your little ones for Easter. Don't forget to check out all the links below. I will leave all the links below for you guys to check out, so don't forget to check it out and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.